3ds max has four viewports by default so we can see here we have ourselves a left viewport down here a perspective viewport we also have a front viewport and a top viewport by uh, default now the active viewport will always be highlighted with a yellow border on the edges of the windows you can see here to make a viewport active just go ahead and middle mouse button click on that view and you'll be able to switch to that view and make it active okay now one thing that's very interesting here in Max that we can do and is actually a pretty useful tool is the ability to save out a certain camera position or a viewport position in this case say for example I come up here to the top view and I make it active by middle mouse button clicking on top of it and I want to zoom in here on this couch here you see in the pink wireframe which is the same couch you see here in the perspective view now what I can do is hit F3 so I can see this in a shaded version okay there's the couch from the top view let's say I want to save out this certain viewport position here uh, for later use what I can do is make this viewport active with the yellow highlighted border simply by middle mouse button clicking on it go up here to views and in view menu you notice we have the option here to save active top view so we'll click on that it appears as though nothing has happened but let's go ahead and zoom out of this view and maybe move it around so now it's not in the previous position and let's say we want to go back to the previous position instead of going in here and trying to zoom in here and uh, trying to eyeball it and figure out what the last view was all we need to do is go over here to the views menu with the top view being active and go down here to restore active top view once we do that the viewport will be restored to the uh, saved point that we created earlier okay let's do that for the perspective view here let's go ahead and maximize this view and that's pretty easy to do just hit alt and w on the keyboard and that'll go ahead and maximize the view here so now the entire viewport space is taken up by just this one view okay so let's say I like the view of the couch say from this angle right here all I have to do is go up to the views menu save the active perspective view and, lay, and I can continue working on this scene and let's say later I decide to come back all I have to do is go back to the views menu go to restore active perspective view and there we go we're back to the previous view and that's how you can save out some uh, some of your active views in, uh, in 3ds max pretty useful tool